If our Ron DeSantis' remarks touch a nerve, stirring up issues of distrust, manipulation, and the desperate quest for genuine understanding, the media's portrayal of Kamala Harris feels like part of a larger scheme to deceive and control public perception, revealing deep-seated anxieties and widening the ideological chasm. What is your reaction to this new, uh, new uh, rewriting of history, rebranding of Kamala Harris? Well, I'll tell you, Maria, uh, you know, the Biden-Harris policies put the Democratic Party in a very precarious situation this election. And then the debate where Biden, they tried to do the basement for three and a half years, and it was clear after that debate that was not going to happen. So the media really worked hard to push Biden out. And now what you see is all the arteries of the left, the corporate media, Hollywood, academia, they're using all the king's horses and all the king's men to try to put the Democratic Party back together again. And they have to whitewash Harris's uh, background to be able to make her palpable to the American people. But I think we've all seen her. I mean, she's incredibly vapid, even more incredibly liberal, uh, and she doesn't have any accomplishments. In fact, she owns all the policies of the Biden-Harris administration. She owns the border. She owns the inflation. She was there cheerleading that uh, every day for the last three and a half years. So I don't think it's gonna work, but make no mistake about it. You are in for 100 days of massive gaslighting from the corporate press. Uh, they're already taking down. There was a website where she was the most liberal senator, GovTrack. They took that down. Uh, they're whitewashing things from her past. That's going to continue, and they're going to try to pull the wool over the eyes of the American people. Ron DeSantis' statement about 100 days of passive gaslighting from the corporate press echoes a long-held belief that mainstream media is biased, serving liberal agendas. The public might fixate on the idea that the media— Hollywood and academia are all conspiring to reshape the narrative in Kamala Harris's favor, despite her perceived lack of achievements and supposedly socialist stances. This appears to be another attempt by the left to sway voters by manipulating public perception, suppressing dissent, and distorting Kamala Harris's performance. The focus here is on themes of authenticity, personal responsibility, and the relentless pursuit of truth. The broader issue, as DeSantis suggests, is that gaslighting forces individuals to navigate a minefield of misinformation and propaganda to find their true understanding. Instead of passively accepting the narratives from powerful entities, individuals must critically evaluate information and form their own beliefs. DeSantis' remarks can incite distrust, skepticism, and frustration among his supporters. The notion of media gaslighting fosters alienation and mistrust of mainstream sources, deepening polarization as individuals become more entrenched in their ideological positions and seek out information that confirms their existing beliefs. The constant emphasis on manipulation and deception can also heighten anxiety and insecurity, as people feel perpetually misunderstood. The public's reaction to DeSantis's comments is likely to be sharply divided. His supporters and conservatives may feel galvanized to seek the truth, scrutinize mainstream media narratives, and challenge them. They might also become more proactive in finding alternative media sources that they believe are more sincere and aligned with their views.